Hello and welcome back to Light High Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to control the speed of a motor and control the brightness of LEDs, all with using one simple component, and that is a TIP122 transistor. Let's get started. <laughs> items that you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need a 10k ohm potentiometer, a TIP122 transistor, a 1N4007 diode, some jumper cables, alligator clips, a breadboard, and we're going to be testing this entire circuit with using this 12 volt DC motor. And we're going to be using these LED strips. Now, let's go ahead and assemble this project, and let's get started. And this right here is the schematic that you're going to need to use to follow to make the circuit. First, I'm going to go take a breadboard and the TIP122 transistor and put it into the breadboard. Next, I'm going to take this 10k ohm resistor and put it on the opposite side of the breadboard. Next, I'm going to take the 1N4007 rectifier diode and place it right here onto the breadboard. Next, I'm going to take this jumper cable and I'm going to connect that over to the base of the transistor. And connect the base of the transistor over to the center pin of the potentiometer. Next, take another jumper cable and connect it to one of the pins of the potentiometer. Either the left pin or right pin, doesn't matter. And then connect that jumper cable over to the collector of the transistor. Next, take another jumper cable and connect that to the final pin of the potentiometer. and then take the other end of that jumper cable and connect it to the negative rail. Next, take another jumper cable and connect it over to the emitter of the transistor and then take the other end of that jumper cable and leave it loose so that way the emitter is left loose. Next, take these alligator clips and connect it to that loose jumper cable Next, take the other end of that alligator clip and connect it to the positive of the DC motor, basically connecting the emitter from the transistor to the positive of the DC motor. Next, take another alligator clip and connect that to the negative of the DC motor. And then attach the other end of that alligator clip to a jumper wire and connect that to the negative rail. Next, take another jumper wire and connect that to the positive of the diode. And then take the other end of that jumper cable and connect that to the negative rail. Next, take another jumper wire and connect that to the negative of the diode or cathode of the diode. And then the other end of that jumper wire will be the voltage input, which is the voltage negative input. Next, take another jumper wire and then connect it to the lab bench power supply, positive input, and connect that to the collector of the transistor. Turn up the voltage on the lab bench power supply to 12 volts. And as you can see, everything is now plugged in, and now it's time to turn the potentiometer and watch as this motor spins. Turn the potentiometer slowly and it goes slow spin. Turn the potentiometer more and it increases voltage. Now it's at maximum voltage and now I can turn it down. Now 
minimum speed. Perfect. Perfect. Next, what I'm going to do is remove the DC motor and connect it to the LEDs. We'll be able to dim. Starts to get brighter and brighter. And now at full brightness. And now I can turn the potentiometer to dim it so it's not so bright. There we go, just like that. That's at minimum brightness. And I can make it turn off, turning it all the way. Turn it up. Next experiment, I'm going to go and take a multimeter and connect the multimeter to the circuit. I'm curious to see how accurate the output voltage is. And now, let's go turn it up slowly, and you can see how it can climb. My lab bench power supply is set at 12.4 volts, and let's see how many voltage this really has. As you can see, it is 11.8. 11 hmm, so there's some slight resistance, about 0.5 volts. That's interesting. Then you can turn it down all the way. It goes to zero. Turn it all the way back up. And it goes up to the maximum voltage. Interesting. Lab bench power supply displays 12.3 volts, and this displays 11.8. That's actually very interesting. And there you have it. Now you know how to make a very simple motor speed controller and an LED dimmer with using a TIP-122 transistor. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.